It's now time to undo our temporary hand stitching that's holding the zipper tape in place and holding our split closed because we've machined it and machined the zip in now and so it's in there nice and securely. So you take your uh, seam ripper or unpicker and you hook it underneath the hand stitching and you pull and rip and it will just you'll be able to pull it out reasonably easy if it gets stuck don't worry just uh, cut it with the blade the blade is in the center of the uh, seam ripper sometimes also you can't see the stitch because it's sort of disguised underneath your sewing machine stitch just be careful not to cut your sewing machine stitch so flip it over and unpick from the back if you can see it more clearly there and pull out the last of your thread and then we do this side unpick this just hook it under the hand stitching and rip and pull like this once again just make sure you get the hand stitching don't rip your machine stitching whatever you do because otherwise you'll have to do it again right all done so all of that hand stitching is being taken out now what I want to do is unpick the hand stitching that's holding the split closed so once again you can just feel your way in the split with the seam ripper the unpicker and just slide it along and cut the stitches like this all the way along carefully not cutting your fabric okay and then pull all of the ends of threads out and pop them in the rubbish bin and I've got one more left in there that I can't <clears throat> get rid of so just get a pair of scissors and just trim it off okay so what I've got now is the ability to get in and open my zip and so I have a functioning zip that opens and closes like this okay we're nearly finished not too far to go so what we need to do now is open the zip it's very important that you have it open what we're going to do is we're going to flip the pencil case inside out and sit it on sit the edges on top of themselves now these notches that we cut on the end of our on the edges of our pencil case this is where they're important because we need to match them up match them in place and when we've matched them we're going to pin the two pieces of fabric together along the edge like this all the way up to the top down to the corner and then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to match these notches too so match them up match the edge pin them in place all the way up to the top and then finally we're going to pin along the long edge of the pencil case so we have three edges now that we're going to be straight stitching along to close the pencil case up and then when we've straight stitched from right at the top here down to the corner turn the corner and all the way up to the top when we've done that then we're going to zigzag finish all the way along the edges as well so our pencil case edges don't come undone okay take it back to the sewing machine <laughs> 